Well, hi there, boys and girls. Today we're going to do reference angles and exact values. and I'll show you some several examples of these, so let's just get started. All right, I've got a couple of coordinate grids drawn here along with the circle. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the values of the trig function, sine, cosine, or tangent, at special angles. So let's just start with, um, let's find the sine of 2 pi over 3. And then let's also find cosine and tangent of 2 pi over 3 as well. So we know that this is 0. Straight up is pi over 2, which is 1 half pi. Out to the left is pi. Straight down is 3 pi over 2. And i got to figure out where is 2 pi over 3. Well, one thing that you can do is you can go ahead and convert that to degrees. You might notice that 2 thirds pi is just short of 1 whole pi. You know, this pi over here, you could think about this as 3 pi over 3. Anyway, this works out to be um, 120 degrees. So if we start rotating around this way, we go past pi over 2, but we stop before we get to pi. And so let me just draw this out here somewhere. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I should have made a line there. I don't like that very much. I'll do the next one better. What I want to do is I want to drop an altitude from that circle straight down. We're going to make a 90 degree angle. Now we have rotated 2 pi over 3, but we are going to use what's called the reference angle. The reference angle is the angle that's left over always to the x-axis. So if we've rotated 120 degrees, how much is left to go to the x-axis? Well, that is 60 degrees. And since this is 90 up here, I've got a 30 degree angle. And we're going to label the sides of base 30, 60, 90. We're going to put a 1 across from the 30, but I'm going to make it a negative 1 because we moved left. You, know, you think about this as like the axes out here is positive, this way is negative. And I'm going to put a square root of 3 across from the 60 degree angle, and then I'm going to put a 2 on the hypotenuse. That's your basic 30, 60, 90 triangle. So the sine of 2 pi over 3 from this what's called a reference angle is going to be opposite over hypotenuse from Sokotoa, and that's the square root of 3 over 2. What about the cosine of 2 pi over 3? Well, you still use this reference angle. This is 2 pi over 3. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's negative 1 half. And then tangent of 2 pi over 3 would be opposite over adjacent, which is square root of 3 over negative 1, which we'll just call that negative square root of 3. Let's do another example. Let's find some trig values for 5 pi over 4. Sine of 5 pi over 4. So let's use our little circle over here. Now 5 pi over 4 is past pi. You can think about pi as 4 pi over 4. This is one whole pi. So that's past that. Pi over 2 is here. Here's 0 and here's 3 pi over 2. Converting this to degrees, we get that that's 225 degrees, which is right down here. So we, we rotate 225 degrees. The next thing we do is I want you to make an altitude always to the x-axis. Never go to the y-axis. And your reference angle, I realize we've rotated all the way around here, but your reference angle is the angle that the terminal ray makes with the x-axis, always with the x-axis. And if we've rotated 225 degrees around, half of the circle is 180, then I have gone 45 degrees more. So it's 225 minus 180 is 45. This is a 90 degree angle, and so this is also 45 degrees. Now our basic 45, 45, 90 triangle, I want you to put a 1, except that's negative because we've gone left, and then a 1 here, that's negative because we've gone down, and then on the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. The hypotenuse is never negative because of the Pythagorean theorem. The square root of a squared plus b squared is always a positive number. So let's find some values here. The sine of 5 pi over 4, we use this reference angle as opposite over hypotenuse. And then the cosine of 5 pi over 4 would be adjacent over hypotenuse. That's the same thing. And then the tangent of 5 pi over 4 is opposite over adjacent, which is negative 1 over negative 1, which is just 1. Okay, so last thing I want to talk to you about is what if your angle works out to be exactly on an axis? 
I'm sorry, exactly, well, yeah, exactly on an axis. So what if it stops here at 0, or what if it's pi over 2, or what if it's pi, or what if it's 3 pi over 2? What I want you to do is I want you to make this picture in your notes, and I want you to label this like this circle has a radius of 1. What I mean is this point right here would be the point 1, 0, and this point here would be 0, 1. And this point here is negative 1, 0, and then this point here is 0, negative 1. And I want you to know that as you go around this unit circle, all of these coordinates are in the order cosine of that angle, comma, sine of that angle. So what I'm saying is, if you wanted to find the cosine of pi over 2, and pi over 2 works out to be right on an axis. You come up here to pi over 2. The cosine of pi over 2 is the first number in that ordered pair. It's 0. What about like the sine of negative pi over 2? Well, negative pi over 2 means rotate clockwise, and that would get us to this point right here. The sine is the second number in that ordered pair, so that would be negative 1. What about the tangent of pi? Well, tangent is not listed here, but you need to know that tangent is the ratio of sine divided by cosine. That's what tangent works out to be. So I can go over here to pi. The negative 1 is the cosine. The 0 is the sine. So this is 0 divided by negative 1, which is 0. What about like the tangent of 3 pi over 2? So that's right down here. Tangent is sine over cosine, so that would be negative 1 divided by 0. And division by 0, if we get not 0 over 0, this is undefined. You're going to find out in about a week that tangent has a vertical asymptote at that point. So this would be does not exist. Okay, so you're going to practice this a bunch tomorrow, so I will see you guys then.